Hello, hello everybody. Please hold for one second. I want to make sure that my technology is in check and it looks like it is. Happy Saturday. Welcome. If you are here for the first time, please introduce yourself so I can keep an eye on you. Super, super excited. Today we have got a full body workout plus cardio. So make sure you've got your athletic shoes on, put some music on in the background because I've got everybody muted. Make sure you've got some water nearby because this is going to be a good workout. Now, listen, <clears throat> we have a variety of fitness levels here in the group. I'm going to be showing modifications. If you want a harder workout, this is your chance. Today is a great opportunity to really challenge yourself and work hard. If you want a harder workout than what I'm doing today, you're going to move faster. You're going to put more enthusiasm into the cardio bursts. You're going to do more repetitions. You're going to use heavier weights during the strength exercises. And if you need an easier workout than what I'm doing today, take your time, take breaks when you need to, move a little bit more slowly and just use your body weight during the strength exercises. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be pairing a strength exercise with a cardio exercise to get your heart rate up. And then we're gonna take a short break about 20 to 30 seconds between sets. You have the choice to do two supersets with me or three. If you're going to do three supersets today, you're really going to minimize your rest and just keep it going. I will show you each of the exercises before we actually get started. So for those of you guys that want to move a bit faster, you'll be able to get out ahead of me because you'll know what the exercises are. You're going to need a circle band today. You need some dumbbells. You need a handled resistance band. Grab some heavy dumbbells if you have them because we've got um, a leg exercise and a back exercise that can really handle a heavy kettlebell or a heavy dumbbell. So excited that you're here. If you have any questions, you can pop them into the chat box. I'll circle around after. And after the workout, we will be doing our walking lunge workshop. And I will be taking questions at the end. So if you want to stick around, stay with us. So excited that you are here. Welcome everybody. Hi, Alicia. Hi, Althea, Christine, Debbie, Diane, Elizabeth, Heidi, Jane, Janet. Janet, hello. How are you? Krishanti, Laura, Lori, Leela, Linda. Oh my gosh, we got so many people here. Hi, Natalie, Regina, Robin Stevens. So many people. Hi, everybody. Welcome, welcome. I'm so glad that you guys are here. And if you are watching this on playback, welcome. I hope you enjoy it enjoy it, you can leave your comments below. So let's get it started. I always like to begin with a preparatory sequence just to make sure that your body is actually really ready for the workout. Now this preparatory sequence isn't really technically a warm up because the last time I checked you were around 98 degrees, you're already warm, right? So the name of the game for our warm up for this preparatory sequence is really just to get your body ready for the workout. And that is what we're going to do. Hold on one second. So I've got everybody muted. Um, try your best not to unmute yourself. Um, I know it happens by accident, no big deal. But um, as I get into the workout, just try to avoid um, unmuting yourself if possible. Unless, of course, we've got some technology issues. And then Heidi, you know, you're my girl, you can let me know. Okay, guys, let's get it started. Take your feet separated. Let's take a big inhale up, stretch it out, exhale it out. Do that again. When you lift way up here, I want you to extend your rib cage as long as you possibly can. One more time. So lengthen out your rib cage way up to the sky, exhale it out. And now we're going to do that as a preparatory exercise. Take your arms up, keep them there. And right here, you're just in a relaxed position with your arms over your head on go. I want you to stretch yourself out as long as you possibly can, very actively reaching for the sky, and then we'll take a break, okay? Arms overhead in a relaxed position and go. I want you to lengthen the space from your rib cage to your hips as much as you possibly can aggressively. Reach, 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 and relax and catch your breath. This is an incredible exercise to activate the transverse abdominis. It's one of my favorite physical therapy exercises. If you do it right, you're gonna feel your abs grab and you're gonna feel your back activate. Let's do it again, arms relaxed and go. Reach up, reach, reach, reach as if your life depended on it. Get every centimeter 
out of your length that you possibly can. Reach, 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 reach. Very aggressively. Reach, reach, reach. And relax it down. And catch your breath. And just kind of shake it out. And we're going to do that one more time. So the whole name of the game here is to really actively reach up as high as you possibly can. Because that's going to cause that abdominal muscle to just go ka -ching. And that's exactly what we want. Arms over the head. And go. Reach up, reach up, reach up super high as high as you possibly can. Visualize lengthening yourself out from your rib cage to your hip bone, super high, every little centimeter, longer, 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 and relax it out. Catch your breath, feet wide, and let's come into some spinal rotations. Squeeze and contract your glute on the leg that you're turning away from. So left, squeeze, right, squeeze. Really activate your glute as you're turning away from it because that creates a really incredible foundation so that you can safely rotate your spine to begin to warm up all those muscles, wake up the core, bring a bit of range of motion. And by the way, it just feels so good. Just let your arms literally relaxed swing around you. And your job is to rotate so much that you're looking all the way behind you. Just make sure you're really squeezing and activating your glute as you do that because that protects the spine just enough so that you can get that full mobility around the spine. Let's do a couple more. And relax, feet together, bring your weight onto one leg, keep that leg's knees soft. So don't lock out the knee whenever you're on a single leg, any kind of single leg exercise slight bend on that standing knee. And I just want you to find your balance for a moment. Let your balance settle in, keeping that knee soft. And from here, we're gonna do a partial single leg squat and then come forward and tap the floor. Come up, find your balance. And again, partial leg squat, find the floor and tap 15 times. Partial leg squat, tap the floor and up. So just make sure, <clears throat> Really hear me loud and clear here. Make sure that you're doing that single leg squat, okay? Because otherwise it just becomes bending over and that's not what we're doing. It really is a partial squat. Then you touch the floor because what this does is this fires up your glutes like crazy. It's also really good to get the foot and the ankle prepared for some of the cardio stuff that we're gonna be doing today. Um, and it's also just a little bit of a good dynamic active stretch for your hamstrings when you're in that forward position. Couple more here, activating the glute when you stand up because we want full hip opening on the front by squeezing that glute. Whenever you come into a full standing position here, always make sure that you're activating and squeezing the crap out of that glute because that helps to passively open that hip flexor and get that hip fully opened. Super, super, super important. One more, and then we're gonna do the same thing on the other leg. First, find your balance, okay? Take a moment to find your balance, and you'll notice in the first 15 to 20 seconds, you're a little wobbly, and then you kind of settle in. You're gonna feel your feet grab, your foot, because you're only on one foot, but your foot's gonna grab, the arch is gonna grab. You're gonna feel that lower leg warm up. That's the whole point here. Then a little bit of a, a little bit of a sit and forward bend and tap down. My dad is like all decked out in bright orange hunting gear, and he was doing the exercise in the kitchen <laughs> with his like hat and his big orange jacket. He's like doing the exercise. Hilarious. And make sure that you are really activating that glute at the top, okay? So right here, squeeze your glute. Squeeze that glute hard, really, really hard. Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it, because that wakes up that glute muscle. It improves that contractibility and waking up the glute, especially on a Saturday morning, okay? If you spent some time on the, on the couch last night watching Bridgerton, then you need to wake up those glutes Get that glute firing so that you can open up the front of the hip. Okay, make sure you've got that partial squat before you bend into it. About 15, if you're new to the workout, we're gonna be working in 15 repetitions. So every exercise, 
you're in charge of counting. This is not an 80 style follow along exercise video. I'm not here to count for you. You are responsible for your repetitions and for keeping yourself honest. So make sure that you are keeping your repetitions and you're counting 15, especially when we do something unilateral on one leg versus the other leg. Make sure that you're counting it out. Super important. Feet wide. Take a look down at your feet. They should be truly parallel. We're going to come into a little bit of a sit side to side, really pushing your hips back, press your hips way back, way back, push those hips back, keeping a bit of an arch in your lower back. As you've warmed into this, and as that inner thigh stretch starts to mellow, okay, once that gets prepared and warmed up, we're gonna come a little deeper, reaching across the floor. And I really want you to sit and reach as much as you can. Sit super deep. The whole point is to sit deeply when you're to the side here. Sit very deeply, guys. This is a single leg lateral squat. So you gotta sit deep. Again, this isn't just like 80s aerobics, okay? Although my pants would lead you to think that it is. My shiny 80s like hot pants today, <laughs> but it's not. It's not the 80s, unfortunately. I wish that it was. Those were some good years. <laughs> Reach your hips back. Oh, here comes Mr. Buckley to come check on things. Coming in, scope it out. Make sure we're doing what we're supposed to be doing. Sitting super deep, drive into your heel. And let's go two more. We got one more preparatory exercise and then we're gonna jump into the workout. Feet together. Remember how we did that reaching overhead? You're gonna repeat that in this exercise. Big reach, step back into modified lunge. Big reach, lunge on the other side. Continue alternating sides. If this is doable, comfortable, easy for you, you're going to make this movement bigger by taking it all the way down to a full lunge. Big reach, full lunge. Always working at your own pace, okay? I try to find moderate intensity right down the center so that you can stay with me. And if you wanna move faster, you can. And if you need to move more slowly, go for it. No one is judging you. Really and truly, there's no competition. <laughs> Trust me, I've been doing this for 30 years and there are so many different kinds of bodies and life stories and health stories and physiology. There is for real no competition. And if you find yourself feeling like you're not doing enough, take a look inward because that's really a relationship that you have with yourself. So I want you to challenge yourself, but I also want you to work at the right intensity for your body today. If that means going a little bit more slowly or staying with me, that's totally cool couple more here. Now, in terms of intensity, I want you to challenge yourself today 20% harder than today's ability. So what's today's ability? What is that for you today? How was your week? How's your energy? How does your body feel today? Challenge yourself only about 20% more than where you are today. One more lunge and we're going to get into the workout. Let me show you the first two exercises. They're gonna prepare us for the workout. Grab your circle band. First exercise, lateral band steps. Second exercise is going to be a squat variation with the band. And I will show both of the, I'll show you both of the exercises because I know some of you get moving. So first exercise is lateral band steps. Band is above your knees or lower down on your leg if you have an easy band. Sit deeply, arch in the lower back. Let your lower back have that little bit of natural and neutral arch, not a flat back, never a flat back. Neutral arch in your lower back. Step with your whole 
leg. Don't step with your lower leg. Step with your whole leg, 15 in one direction, immediately 15 in the other, staying in your partial squat, okay? Staying in your partial squat. Second exercise, grab a heavier dumbbell. Feet are narrow, but toes are turned open a little teeny tiny bit. Stretch your band and you've got a front squat. Squeeze your glutes. Front squat, squeeze your glutes. Got it? You know your fitness level. Grab the right band. Grab the right, right weight load. And let's get started. We're doing these two exercises back to back. No rest in between. Then we'll take a rest. You ready? Feet together. Partial squat. Neutral arch in your spine with your hips back. Booty pop it. Ready? Let's go. 15. Please count your repetitions. Make sure you're stepping with your whole leg. This is technically, technically this is a glute exercise for specifically for glute medius. And so in order to really hit your glute medius, you've gotta be stepping with your whole leg, not just your lower leg. The name of the game here is to actually stretch the band. Stretch that band, make a big stretch, okay? I'm gonna be off camera because I'm doing these exercises with you. And this is one of my favorite exercises. I absolutely love this one. So I'll be off camera, I know you can hear me, but I want you to really visualize and think about stretching the band. Really stretch that band, stretch it. Step with your whole heel, keeping the feet truly parallel to each other. Sitting nice and low, super deep, stretch that band, stay on your heels, 15 and 15. Pick up your heavier dumbbell, 10, 15, 20, wherever you are. Feet are narrow, but your toes are turned open slightly, okay? Arch in the lower back. Dumbbell is staying right at the top of your sternum in contact with your body, like a goblet squat. Sit, stand, squeeze your glutes. So at the top, I want you to posteriorly rotate your glutes, your pelvis, sorry, your pelvis, so that your glutes really activate here. So you're gonna stand all the way up, you're gonna squeeze your booty hard here, and you're gonna allow that little bit of posterior delt on your pelvis so that you can fully contract your abs here. Okay, so really contracting your abs. Sorry, your glutes. Sorry guys, I did not eat enough this morning. So my brain, we might have some funny moments during today's workout because my brain fuels a little low. I did my best, but I ran out of time and didn't eat enough. So you can also uh, squeeze your abs. You can keep your abs contracted as well, but more particularly, squeeze your glutes, squeeze that booty there. Really opening the hips, posterior tilt, because the posterior tilt, the tuck and the rotation allows you to get into your glutes better. Oh, by the way, it allows you to get into your abs better too. And rest. Short break, those of you guys doing three supersets, no rest. Go right into your next superset. So we'll be taking about a 20 second break. The reason why we take breaks is not to give you a break. You take a break, so that your body has a little bit of recovery so that when you come back to your second set, you can work harder. So remember the name of the game is to work harder on your second set. That's what these rest phases are for. And if you don't want that rest phase, you just keep moving and you don't take the break. But do know that this really is a strength workout. So I want you to be able to work hard on those squats with the heaviest weight that you can do safely today. And in order to do that, it really helps if you have a little bit of recovery in between the sets. Let's go for the second set. Feet together, partial squat, hips back, neutral, natural curvature in that lower back, lead with the heel, stay nice and low, lead with that heel, not the toe. That's gonna keep your foot really truly parallel to the other foot. So you wanna keep your feet perfectly parallel, toes pointed forward. And when you lead with the heel, that keeps that toe from opening out. That being said, you're stepping with the whole leg so that the glute is getting that full activation, 15 steps. And then you're gonna just immediately reverse 
and come on back. Big step, sit deep, heavy into your heels, abs drawn in. You should feel like you've got some action in your lower back. So if you feel your lower back muscles engaging, that's a good thing. We want your neutral arch. We want there to be the muscles around your spine, specifically around your lower spine and your arch in your back to be holding you there. So you're gonna feel the muscles in your lower back activating. 15, once you're done, grab your heavy weight and we're going into those squats. Feet are about hip distance apart, hip bone distance apart. For those of you women who think you've got wide hips and so you take your feet really wide, the truth is hip bone is your hip, okay? Not the width of your hips. So heels, hip distance, toes turned open slightly. Dumbbell is in contact with your upper chest. Squeeze your glutes, pelvic tuck. 15, squeeze your glutes, pelvic tuck. So on this squat, do make sure you're really reaching your hips back. Hips are back so that your knees are over your toes. They're above your toes, potentially even in front of your toes a little bit, but not a lot. So you gotta really reach your hips back. Hips go way back, keeping that neutral arch in your spine, squeezing your glutes at the top. Squeeze your glutes. 15 reps, remember you are in charge of counting. Abs drawn in, chest stays lifted, keeping as much of your neutral spine at the bottom of the move as possible. As much of that spine at the bottom as possible. Three more or so, depending on where you are. And then we're gonna take a short break. Let me show you the next two exercises. You can get rid of your circle hip band from your knees. And let me show you the next two. Okay, cardio begins. All right, you want a heavier dumbbell, probably the same one that you just used, maybe a little bit heavier. Goblet squats are first, goblet squat. Kettlebell or a dumbbell works great. Dumbbell held like this, like a goblet, in contact with your upper chest. This time your feet are wider and your toes are turned open, keeping your chest lifted, sit deep, squeeze your glutes. Now this time, because of the foot position, your pelvis actually drops lower than your knees at the bottom. So at the bottom of the move, your hips should be below your knees so that your thighs have a downward slope. Put that dumbbell down, second exercise, get that cardio up, starting where we started our lateral jumps, uh, lateral band steps, but instead, lateral jumps. Start conservatively, make sure you cover your ground so you don't trip. As you get into the set, make it bigger and stay low. Feel me? Okay, you guys ready? Goblet squats are up first. Heavier dumbbell, 10, 12, 15, depending on where you are. At a bare minimum, you should be using at least eight pounds here because you need it to counterbalance your weight. So really everybody should be starting with at least eight pounds, unless you're brand new to the exercise. If, unless you're brand new to strength training, you can start with fives. But you do need a substantial weight here to counter, counterbalance. Toes are turned open, here we go, 15. Squeeze your glutes. So at the bottom, if you have a mirror at home, use your mirror, stand in front of it, and you'll see if I'm to stop, okay, my booty back there is slightly below my knees, just slightly. We want the booty to break the parallel of the thighs, Okay, so that the glutes are sitting just a little below your knees. This is not ass to the grass. Um, I don't teach ass to the grass. Um, that can be useful, but that's not what I teach. The whole goal here is to just get your hips 
slightly below your knees so that there's a downward angle from knee to hips. 15, and then squeeze the crap out of your glutey right there. Squeeze those gluteys. Squeeze your gluteys. Keep your chest lifted. Tummy drawn in, abs tight, 15. And we're gonna go into our lateral jumps. Heidi, I'm gonna watch you for repetitions, okay? You always, I don't know if it's because you get here early, you're always one of the tiles on my screen. I get like five or six of you guys on my screen that I can see. And somehow Heidi's always vying for that number one spot. She always gets it. <laughs> okay, guys, you ready? We're gonna do lateral jumps. Here's the deal. 15 in each direction. Wait, no, let's do 15 in total. So 15 in total will be 30 jumps. Okay, you guys ready? Sit down and let's take a big step out. And this is two, okay? And this is three for 15 or 30 in total. So listen, safety first, my friend. Make sure that you're covering your floor. You're lifting up off your floor enough that you don't trip. Please be careful. This is one of those exercises. It's so easy to catch your shoe on your flooring. As you get better at this, sit deeper. Come on, guys. I want you to really go for it. Push it. Bigger jumps safely, safely, safely. You're an athlete. Cover some distance. Really cover some distance. Robin Stevens, that looks amazing. Good job, guys. Diane S. looks so good. Elizabeth K., I see you, girl. Really, really good. Really, really good, guys. Give it some energy. Give it some enthusiasm because this is what's gonna bring your heart rate up. When you hit your 30, take a short break. Please keep moving. Walk around, walk around, okay? Short break. Your heart rate should be really up. If you're wearing your heart rate monitor, ah, I'm gonna go grab mine in a moment. If you're wearing your heart rate monitor, take a look. Your heart rate should be up. We're gonna let it recover and then we're coming back to these two exercises again for a second set. If your heart rate's up as it should be, please don't stop moving. Keep walking around in space. Keep those legs moving. Short little break. How was that set of goblet squats? Was it comfortable? Was that goblet squat good? If so, I want you to grab a heavier weight load. Now listen, today, goblet squat is gonna be your heaviest exercise. So I want you to challenge yourself on your goblet squats with some heavy weight because goblet squat is designed for a heavier weight. If you've been with me for a while, you should absolutely be using at least 10 pounds. Some of you are using 25, 30, 35 pounds here, maybe even more. This is the exercise to challenge your strength. So even though we're working in supersets, even though we're doing some cardio today, um, I still want your strength sets to be strength sets. Today's workout is a full body workout with cardio. And I want you to get the benefit of the strength move. Let's go back for that second set, goblet squats. Challenge yourself. Remember, 20% harder than where you are today. Grab a heavier dumbbell and let's go for 15 second set. Toes are out. Let's go sit nice and deep. Squeeze your glutes. Sit deep, keeping that natural and neutral arch on your lower back, especially at the bottom. And that really requires work because of flexibility. So there's a bit of a booty pop. There's a bit of an energy of arching your back at the bottom. It's going to feel like that. Okay. And I know you might've heard out there in internet land, keep your back flat. That's actually a very incorrect cue. You don't want your back flat. You want a neutral curvature in your lower spine. But what I've found after 30 years of coaching women is that because of strength and flexibility, a lot of women can't keep that arch at the, at the bottom of the move and they round out their lower back. So technically you need to actively put your back into that slight arch at the bottom to get the most from the exercise. All right, lateral jumps. You ready? Feet together. Get that Heart rate monitor out. Let's see what it does. Sit deeply. You ready? Let's go. So this is your second set. 
So I want you to give me more. Sit low, stay close to the ground, but make sure you cover the ground. Meaning make sure you get off of the ground, even though I want you low. Stay as low as you can and stay safe. Making sure your toes cover, but I want you to sit deep and take a bigger jump. Give me a bit more enthusiasm, pushing off the leg that you're pushing away from. Okay, so you're pushing from the outside leg. You're not pulling with the jumping leg. Push, 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 push off that lateral leg. We're getting that explosiveness. Push off that leg, make it big. Sit deep, one more, walk it out, keep your heart rate going, please move about, don't stand in space. Keep your legs going because your heart rate is up. Check your heart rate monitor if you've got one, if you're tracking your heart rate. I got my Fitbit Blaze on today, but it's not very accurate because I know my heart rate is not 106. Let's see what it does when it catches up. Okay, let me show you next two exercises. A strength move with a cardio move. Heavy-ish dumbbells, eight pounds-ish. Some of you will use 10 pounds or more. Two dumbbells, feet are hip distance apart, comfortable, knees soft, palms are facing the top of your thighs, dumbbells end to end here. You widen your dumbbells so that your dumbbells end in front of your shoulders, elbows high, back down, upright row. So, the goal is to try to end with your elbows higher than your shoulders. But if you have very problematic shoulders, you're going to come to about here. Problematic shoulders come to here. Healthy shoulders, get those elbows up. Okay. 15 reps as heavy as you can. Second cardio exercise, squat jumps. So you are going to, let's go squat jump, jumping up rebounding, jumping up, rebounding, jumping up, rebounding. Now, a couple of options, because this is intense. If you want a harder workout, jump, 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 jump for 30. If you want to be a little bit more gentle, you're just gonna jump, rebound, jump, rebound. Please be careful with your feet and your ankles. If you're new to jumping, keep it conservative. Okay, grab your heavier dumbbells. We've got upright rows to begin. Feet, shoulder width distance, palms in front of your thighs, shoulders back and down, elbows up for 15. Elbows up for 15. Keep those shoulders back and down, even though you're bringing your arms and your elbows up. So even though the elbows come up, you don't want your shoulder girdle to come up too much. It's gonna come up a little, but we don't want you way up here with your shoulders, okay? Shoulder girdle stays down, elbows come up. That is what really hits on that medial deltoid with a bit of trapezius. But if you're lifting your shoulder girdle up a lot, you're gonna get more trapezius, not a lot of deltoid. And if those body parts are unfamiliar to you, deltoid is the muscle that most women are interested in really bringing out. It's the cap of the shoulder. It's what makes your arms look really nice. It's this part of your shoulder, not this part of your shoulder. So shoulders down while the elbows come up, 15 reps, and then we're going into our squat jumps. Pick your poison, 30 or more, or 15 and go a little bit more slowly, whatever works for you. You ready? Feet comfortable and it's up and drop, up and drop. Find your speed that works for you, okay? If you really wanna get your intensity up, just give me nonstop jumps, big jumps, super high. Lead with your chest, make it super high guys. Keep going, four, take a little break and then do a couple, a couple of repetitions. You can break this up however you need to. This is intense, 30 jumps, 30 in total, okay? Take a break when you need to. And when you're done, walk it out, check your heart rate. Check your heart rate, keep moving and assess. How did that feel? How did the 
dumbbell upright row feel. Can you go heavier in your upright row? Can you give me a little bit more intensity on those squat jumps? My heart rate monitor is misbehaving and I'm not happy about it because I know my heart rate is higher than that. We're gonna reset it guys. Time to reset, okay? Keep moving, short break, unless you're doing three supersets, no break. So I told you, if you want a big workout, this is the one for you, no breaks. Give me some big enthusiasm, give me some oomph. Althea, good job, 145. Good job, good job. Okay, give it some energy. And listen, if you're feeling a little punky today, if you don't feel your best, just show up, just give me a little bit of something and you'll be so happy you did it. You always have to attune the workout to where your bod is each day. If you feel great, you push it. If you're feeling lousy, you push it. You always push it 20%, but it's 20% of where you are. Short break and let's go back in for our second set. Grab those dumbbells. Do you need them to be heavier? I do. Take your feet hip distance apart. Palms are facing your thighs. Shoulders are back and down. Neck is long. Here we go. 15. Elbows nice and high. You're going to feel that in your deltoids. One of my favorite exercises that really helped me to transform my shoulders. When I really started my body transformation journey, I was fit, but my body didn't look the way that I wanted it to look. And one of the things that I wanted to change was my arms and my shoulders, specifically my shoulders. And I did a pretty darn good job of it. Even though today my arms aren't super fit, I'm fine with that. But when I went through my transformation, this was one of the exercises that radically changed my shoulders, my deltoids. This was a big exercise. Um, and for those of you guys that are really challenging your ability and your strength, this is the exercise. You could be up to 20, 25, even 30 pounds on this exercise eventually, working your way up depending on your fitness level. I think I maxed out around 30 pounds on this exercise at one point. Um, and I'm not in super great shape right now for a number of reasons, but the thing is my shoulder caps kept their, they kept their shape even when I got a little out of shape. Okay, you guys ready for those squat jumps? Second round. Feet kind of close, okay? And here we go, we're gonna sit down, big jump. Give me 30 or more if you want. Give me 15 a little bit more gently if you need to, but I want you, give me some big energy. Come on, take it up, jump, jump, jump. Make it big, really make it big, okay? Lead with your chest. Use those arms for help. Get off the ground. Feel those legs burning. Take a break when you need to. You've got 15 to 30, wherever you are. Take a break, walk it out. Great job. If you're wearing a heart rate monitor, where are you? Grab it, keep an eye on it. Oh, Mr. Fitbit. Mr. Fitbit's telling me I'm an 88. And I can tell you right now, I'm not. I'm definitely not a day. Oh, 92. Can't be accurate. What a bummer. Short little break. Let me show you our next two exercises. A back exercise with a cardio exercise. Now remember, your back exercise is for strength. This is a strength exercise. So we are going to be doing a bent over band row. Grab a handled resistance band, the heaviest one you've got. Let me demonstrate our next two exercises. First exercise, bent over band row. You're gonna step on your band, equidistant, so that you've got the same amount of distance on each handle. Make sure it's even, okay? I'm gonna to need to choke up because I know I want mine a little bit harder today. Knees are soft, arching that back, rowing straight back. You're bringing your hands to your, between your waist and your rib cage, okay? So right at the narrowest part of your waist is about where you're pulling your hand to the lower part of your rib cage, keeping slight arch in your lower back. 
cardio, skiers here, swap, 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 swap. Again, making it as high intensity as you can. Ready? Grab your resistance band, bent over, band rows for the back, giving yourself a challenge here. Definitely grabbing the heaviest band that you have. You can also do this with dumbbells. I just really like this exercise with a band. So knees are bent for sure. Get that little arch in your lower back, 15 reps. Give me a pause at the top, unless you have a very heavy resistance. If you've got a heavy dumbbell, if you've got a really heavy band, you don't have to pause at the top, okay? If you've got a reasonably heavy band, give me that pause at the top, 15 reps. Keep your chest up, use your breath, neutral spine in your lower back, which means there's a hair of a curvature. Two more and going right into those skiers. Skiers are next. Opposite hand and foot forward. Ready, let's go. You're gonna count to 60 or, sorry, I'm gonna lose my microphone, or I'm gonna time you guys. You can make it bigger with bigger arm movements. Do whatever you need to do, big steps. You can move faster, okay? If you need no jumping, you can also do this lower intensity, okay? You can also do any other form of hopping and jumping. Any hopping and jumping will work for you here, okay? Couple seconds, guys. Count to 60 or until it tell you time. A little bit more. And walk it out, walk it out. Keep your legs moving. Please do not stop cold. I wanna keep the musculature of your legs contracting so that your heart rate has some support in circulating. There we go. My heart rate is up. My little watchy just needed a reset. 145. I love it. Short break, if you're doing three sets, go for it. No break for you. No break for you. If you want a harder workout, you get no break, okay? Keep it moving. Remember, it's a workout. We're here to work it out. We're here to work, right? I'm gonna share a little secret with you. A lot of times people start their workout and then they get into the workout and they conserve. They conserve energy. Almost like, oh, I don't wanna push myself. I wanna conserve energy. Do you do that? This is a workout. You're not here to conserve. You're here to challenge yourself. You're here to lean into the workout. You're here to embrace the workout and give yourself the right intensity workout. So no hiding, no restricting, no conserving. Okay, we got another set, right? Yes, we have another set. We got one more set, right? Yeah, one more set. Sometimes I get confused because I give you guys that demo set and then I think that I've done two sets. Um, so, Carmen Ward, hello Carmen Ward. How are you my dear friend? Okay, you guys ready? Second set, band row, going into those skiers. Now, if that first set of band row is comfortable, let's make it a little harder. Knees soft, arching that lower back, you got it? And let's row. 15 reps, giving me a pause at the top. Pause at the top. Neutral, natural curvature in your lower spine. Pull and shoulders are back and down. If you know me, you've heard me say it 42,000 times. Shoulders back and down. So what that means is drop your shoulder girdle so that your shoulders drop to your hips, towards your hips, away from your ears. We don't want your shoulders up here. Shoulders are down and back, 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 like your life depends on it. It's your job. 15, one more, and let's go into those skiers. Resistance band down, you ready? 
Let's go into those skiers. Hold on, let me get my timer going. You've got 30, okay, uh, 60, or until I tell you time. Let's go. Make it big. You can make it faster. Whatever is right for your intensity, okay? Getting that heart rate up today. This is a cardio workout. Use your arms, counting your 60. Please keep going, keep going, keep going. Ah, oh, this looks good, you guys. Robin, amazing. Really good, Kathy Connors, good job, my friend. Good job, Elsa, good job. Terry, yes. Go, 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 guys. Dana, Dana, Dana is here. All right, guys, almost there. Couple seconds or till you get to 60. You ready? And rest. Good job, guys, walk it out. Keep those legs moving. Again, if you've got a heart rate monitor, check it. I'd love to hear where you are. It also helps me to know your age. If you want feedback on your heart rate, I also have to know your age. Um, or if you just wanna share your heart rate for accountability, please do. Okay, keep it moving. Let me show you our last two exercises. Last two exercises. For now, please spend the next 20 seconds moving about. If you're doing three sets, and you're not with me yet, please, when you transition to this next final superset, please take a few minutes walking around, letting your heart rate come down before you go to the floor. Our next superset is on the floor, but I want your heart rate to come down a little before we go to the floor. So please take 20 to 30 seconds. Please stay on your feet for a few more seconds while I demonstrate. Next exercise, heavier dumbbells, please. We've got a dumbbell chest press and mountain climbers. Dumbbell chest press, you're gonna have a seat. You're gonna take your dumbbells to your shoulders, lay back here, dumbbell chest press starting from the top. I'll change my camera in a moment. You're gonna pause at the bottom and push. Pause at the bottom and push, dumbbell chest press with the heaviest dumbbells that you can do safely. Everybody should be doing at least eight to 10 pounds here. Ideally, I want everybody to be able to do 15 pounds comfortably, okay? Um, mountain climbers, hold on, let me change my camera. There we go. Next up, everyone's beloved, not really. The, one of the most dreaded exercises in exercise history. You got two ways of doing this. Start staggered, switch, switch, switch. If you want a lower intensity, stepping forward, stepping forward, okay? And listen, this stepping forward is also still quite intense. So even if you do half and half, do half your set high intensity, half your set stepping. Okay, everyone, join me down onto the ground now. If you have finished your last superset, Come on down onto the floor with me. Grab your heavier dumbbells. Let's go in for that dumbbell chest press from a seated position. Grab your dumbbells at your shoulders. Use the strength of your abs to lower you back. If you've got an exercise bench at home, please use it. Starting at the top of the exercise, because I like to start on an eccentric. I like as often as possible to start exercises on the eccentric. Shoulders towards your hips and pause at the bottom, 15. Pause at the bottom, 15. Even though you're pausing at the bottom, you're not releasing tension. So even though my arms are fully touching the ground, the back of my upper arms is fully touching the ground, I'm not releasing tension. I've got full tension on my chest at the bottom, even though my elbows touch the ground. Okay, keep that tension. And if you've got an exercise bench, even better, please use it. You can really challenge yourself on this exercise with some solid weight, okay? 15 reps. Then when you're done, you're gonna bring your dumbbells to your shoulders. You're gonna use your legs to generate some momentum, then put your dumbbells down. And we're gonna transition. Please put your dumbbells way off to the side because we've got mountain climbers next and I wouldn't want you to catch one of your dumbbells with your feet. Are you ready? We're gonna do 30, so 15 on each leg, or you can do fewer if you want to go slower. 
So whatever feels good for you today, if you want a higher intensity workout and you want to do more, that's cool. Let's go for it. There's one, there's two for 15, three, and five more, one. And more or less if you want. Hi, hi. Yes, we're okay. Yes, we're okay. Yes. Anytime I do like a jumping or like dancing around or moving around exercise, Buckley always gets so upset. He's not sure what's going on. He's not used to me jumping around with such enthusiasm. Right, bud? Right, bud? Say hi to everybody. Tell everybody what you did yesterday. You dug a big hole in the mud and you got covered with mud and you looked like a white walker, didn't you? Yes, you did. <laughs> okay, guys, short little break. And then we're gonna go in for our second set. How was that first set? <laughs> How was that first set of your dumbbell chest press? If it was comfortable, please grab a heavier dumbbell. Cool? Okay, buddy. Okay, go on. Okay, move, scoot your booty. Grab a heavier dumbbell if you need it. Short break here between these. And now remember, when we go back in for that second set of mountain climbers, if that first set was comfortable for you, I want you to do 20 more, 10 or 20 more, okay? Here we go, second set, dumbbell chest press. Now remember, this is still a strength workout, you guys. Challenge yourself with your dumbbells. Here we go. Starting at the top, shoulders towards your hips. Really aggressively lock your shoulders in position towards your hips. Lock your shoulders down towards your hips, away from your ears. Giving me a pause at the bottom, pause, especially if your weight load is doable. So if you're limited at home with the weight load of your dumbbells, and this dumbbell is a hair light for you, you really exaggerate that pause at the bottom and you can do more repetitions too to counter if you don't quite have heavy enough dumbbells. But I really do want you using a challenging weight load on this exercise because on this exercise, you're, you're technically designed to be able to do a heavier weight load, okay? Ideally, like I said, 15 to 20 pounds for everybody. Second set, mountain climbers. If your first set was comfortable, please move faster more enthusiastic or do more. We ready? Staggered stance, here we go. There's 10, 11. And rest or continue, a few more. Get that heart rate up. Beautiful. If your heart rate's up, it should be. You could stay on the ground or stand up and walk around, okay? But if your heart rate is up from being on the floor, it's okay to stay here on the ground. From where you are on the ground, I'm gonna have you stay here for a moment. We're gonna do one little cool down exercise. I'm gonna bring you back up onto your feet and then I will set you off for your day. So from here, Let's just take a moment. I want to do a range of motion exercise with you that I love if you joined me for my fireside stretch, my full body stretch session, which is on YouTube and on the blog. This was one of my favorite exercises. Take both hands up over your head. Take your knees over to your left. Take your knees over towards your left. Take your right hand, open it out and away from you, and then come down and across your body up, over, and around. We're gonna do five to 10 big circles here in this spinal twist, big circles. This is just gonna let your heart rate recover a little bit, plus it feels good. And then I'll bring you back up onto your feet. We'll do a quick check-in on questions, and then we're gonna roll into the walking lunge mini workshop if you'd like to stick around for that. Big reach. And relax, arms up over the head, take both knees to the other side. Both knees to your right, your right, and your left hand opens out, down, and around. Does that not feel incredible? Oh, so good. This is just such a great restorative 
range of motion, nurturing exercise. So good to open up the hips, relax the back, bring some mobility to the shoulder. And it just, it's, it feels so good. So good for spinal rotation. One of my favorites, it opens up the diaphragm, stretches out that glute medius. There's so much to this exercise. Again, this is also um, an exercise that comes from physical therapy um, industry. Such an important and valuable exercise. And relax, bring one knee into your chest, give it a hug, give those glutes a stretch, a little compression to the front of the hip. Switch, same on the other side, compressing that thigh in towards your tummy, getting a stretch through the glutes, a little through the back of the hamstrings, some compression on the front of the hip. And from here, you can either bring both knees in and rock back and forth a handful of times, ending in a seated position, or if that's uncomfortable for your spine, please just roll to your side and then come on up. Everybody in a seated position for a moment and then come on over onto your hands and knees, feet together, tuck your toes, come back into a crouched position and let's rock back and forth five or six times, bringing some compression, some mobility and some stretch to the toes and the front of your feet, the four feet, the four foots. Getting that flexion at the arch, a stretch through the Achilles, and this sets us up for walking lunges. From here, please listen, stand up and immediately lift your knees 10 times. Promise me you'll lift your, lift your knees 10 times because I don't want you to get dizzy. I don't want you to pass out. Please keep lifting your knees and keeping them moving. And if you're watching this in playback, thank you for joining. I'm gonna turn it off before our walking lunge workshop. But if you would like to join us for the walking lunge workshop, you can check out one of my other videos here on YouTube and I will see you next time.